subscribe for people it's Tracy Reed here today and I am going to do a flip through of all of my March pages in my 2019 album and I cannot believe that I'm only flipping through March but really I just finished March because of the little scrappy break I took and also I'm only doing March in this video because it's so big um, so let's open up this album here and this album is full. I have already moved into another album for 2019, which is also almost full. So, uh, so much for reducing the amount of scrapping I'm doing. So, the first thing we have here is a 9x12, 6x12, then a, another set of that. Um, so, these two coordinate together, kind of. They got some navy going on and some teal and green and all of that. This is a page I did of Patrick and Finn playing World of Warcraft together, which by the way did not last long. <laughs> so um, I used some stash stuff. This is Echo Park from last year, I believe. Here is a 6x12 of me and I used my heart collection for Simple Stories, which is a remembrance collection but it is so pretty with such pretty colors and all that beautiful gold foil that um, i just used it for a selfie next is a spread six by twelve nine by twelve spread about going back to the gym so this was when i first started going to the gym so i have a bunch of gym selfies because of course i'm going to show off that i'm going to the gym and then i took joe to the gym once or twice and <laughs> took this photo of him not being thrilled with all of the working out. So um, I think I broke him is the name of this one, which I thought was funny. This was all stash busting. Here is a page and actually this whole thing is a recent page and I did not record these. Almost everything in this flip through has its own process video except for these two pages and I think the next one um, just because I did those when I was getting back into the role of scrapbooking so um, I did not record them. So this is a spread plus an insert about my son's robotics team and they had a regional robotics competition where they placed for worlds and um, so these are a bunch of photos that sort of just sum up that whole experience. So these are um, from the competition, all of these, and these are from the after party. And I walked into a restaurant and my son was playing pool, which I was took me by surprise. I'd never seen him do that before, so it was pretty funny. Um, and then this is a text message between him and I about him telling me how they made it to World. Here is a photo that they took after they placed, um, and I just, added it in on its own little six by 12. The other side is another six by 12 and this is Karsten in his costume. They dress up for their robotics competitions and their theme is steampunk. So we put together a steampunk costume. Here's a picture of me sewing things onto a steampunk costume. This is a um, group photo from a meeting and then Karsten with his robotics t-shirt and just different photos from the meeting and things. So I just, these are all different days and different times and I just put them all together as one cohesive robotics spread. These are of my bestie and her now wife. These were the engagement photos I took for them back in March. Um, and so I pulled out a few of my favorites and I just created a fun little spread for them. Um, I really love the way that this came out. I used Coco Daisy for this. This was, um, the March collection, I believe, Picket Fences or Picket Fence. And then this was an old Coco Daisy paper and I combined it with the new stuff because it matched perfectly. Now we have a little road trip that Patrick and I went on. It was starting to get nice finally. And so we were back on the motorcycle. So these are Rest Stop of America tour, basically. This one is in Virginia, in Virginia, um, is for lovers is their little slogan. So they have love outside this um, rest stop. And so I just used the Coco Daisy Cherish Blossoms collection to scrapbook these. 
And last in this particular album, and then I switch over to another album, is the one I recently posted of Finn and all of his school stuff. This is using my Simple Stories um, old school simple set from a few years ago, plus some Allie Edwards stuff. And this is just a roundup of all of Finn's school activities. I like doing that this year, um, not really necessarily going by you know, this happened on Monday and this happened on Tuesday and this happened on Wednesday, but instead, um, doing a roundup, a monthly roundup of maybe things that are alike in subject. Okay. Next album starts our vacation. So I thought that that would be a good little split in the albums. So this is our road trip intro to the vacation using my travel collection from last year. I think it's called Travel Notes, maybe. <laughs> uh, so I decided to um, use that. And then these stamps, I believe, are from Coco Daisy to scrapbook um, when we left for vacation. Fun thing about this is that the kids didn't know we were going anywhere. I just kind of woke them up and said, get in the car with everything already packed. So it was a big old surprise for them. They didn't even know where we were going till we got there. And then of course, when we got there, we were at the beach. We went to Myrtle Beach. So these are the photos we took when we got there because of course our first stop was running out to the ocean. We adore the ocean. It is all of our happy place. So these are the photos from that little excursion. One of my favorite pages this year. This is all using, um, I believe, Maggie Holmes collection from this year. Uh, what's it called? I don't know. It's her beach themed summer collection. Next is sort of a stash busting with Crate Paper's previous, um, previous beach line from the year before that. Plus this is really old Amy Tangerine and this is Paintfresh Studio. So I just kind of did a stash busting layout. This is all about our hotel room and the view from the hotel room. And then I love this series of photos down here about, or of all of me, all of these photos of my feet and my book and all of the different places I read while we were on vacation. Ooh. Then this is my Simple Stories. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember any of the names of any of these sets? My new um, summer set from this year, it's called... Oh God. Hello, no, that's last year. Oh my God, I have no idea what it's called because, oh, hello, cat. Oh, here we go. It is called Sunshine and Blue Skies. They got a little kitty visitor right here. <laughs> so if you see a tail flicking, that's why. Anyway, Sunshine and Blue Skies and has so many fun pool illustrations. I had so much fun with this spread. So this is the water park in the hotel. It was built in. And so I got a bunch of really fun pictures of the kids in the water park and us in the hot tub. And then these are photos of them in the pool. And I just created this fun diagonal with embellishments. This is more beach photos. Patrick and Finn and I went out to the beach while the boys were in the pool and in the water park. This is um, Coco Daisy Lemon Grove collection, and then this is from their beach collection from last year. Um, because Coco Daisy doesn't include 12 by 12 papers anymore, I'm finding it fun to go in and pull out papers from previous collections that coordinate. So this uh, 9 by 12 layout is my two favorite photos of them, and then I sprinkled in some more of my favorite photos on this side. Here is my vacation roundup. So these are the last couple pages of my vacation um, of all of the meh photos or all of the, you know, the running around town and not really amazing things that I wanted to draw out into nine by twelves. So we've got um, the sky wheel and playing uh, whatever that's called, candy shop. Here are pictures at Margaritaville, the picture of our resort from uh, at nighttime. This is the sunset from the Ferris wheel. Then the story about our Joe's Crab Shack adventure and then the boys 
on these crazy rides. And this is all, I use some Coco Daisy South Beach, but this is generally all stash busting too. So somewhere in between the two. Last but not least for our vacation. Oh no, two more. Ha <laughs> So these are Coco Daisy South Beach collection, which was perfect when I was trying to fi finish these papers. Even though we didn't go in the summertime, I still used all these beautiful beachy tropical feeling papers for all of our goodbye selfies. So these are, the, we took a few selfies or I took a few and then I took one of us um, as we were leaving the resort. So um, I just did two matching ones. And then these were done digitally with Studio Flurg's Adventure Springfield collection available at sweetshopdesigns.com. And there's a video about how I made these in Photoshop. But this is when we went to the Quickie Mart in Myrtle Beach for a little bit of nostalgia. We bought a big old Homer Simpson donut and they had um, all of the kitsch that comes with the show. Super cute. Here we went to Folly Beach um, on our way home from Myrtle Beach and we actually had to go a little bit south to get to Folly Beach which is in Charleston. Um, I used the Simple Story Simple Vintage Traveler collection and I just love the way that this came out. I feel like this collection was a perfect match for these sort of cold beachy photos. So I've got a 9 by 12 over here with a matching 6 by 12. And then on the other side, another six by 12, nine by 12. Love those pages. And finally, our last vacation photo. Now you see why March was so long, because <laughs> I had a whole vacation in there. Um, our last vacation photos are us traveling home through Charleston and where we ate, and another rest stops of America photo. Then we transition back into regular March with this fun layout I did of Patrick um, on a motorcycle ride we were on. And this is um, Coco Vanilla Studio, their boy collection. Last but not least, we've got, yeah, we got two more pages. So this one is the one, the last page I completed for March, um, stash busting video with some Coco Daisy product. This is Simple Stories um, about my doggies and I, and my mom took these pictures. We had gone somewhere and came home. Like, sorry about the train. We'd gone somewhere and come home and the dogs acted like I had been gone forever, just like they always do. So she took these photos of, all, of us and I just really loved them. And then my Project Life wrap up. So these are any stories that didn't make their own page. So Finn and his asthmatic episode, and meeting a friend of mine, Patrick at work, Karsten um, going to a Dungeons and Dragons thing, and I use Allie Edwards collections here. And then the other side of that, Finn and the big donut, some trouble that um, Joe had with a substitute teacher at school, my regular March roundup of all the, like my currently stuff, Finn, with me and then the boys becoming the same height. And then finally, I did a roundup of all of my cooking for March. I had taken a lot of photos of really pretty food. I think mainly because A, I was cooking a lot, which I always do, but B, March is when the food starts kind of getting pretty again because we've got all this fresh food coming in. So I had, I took all of my food photos and rounded them up and used a digital collection from the lily pad um, to, with these fun cards. I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry and all of that. A little bit of journaling here, and that is my entire March. So you can see March was huge with this, um, this, how many pages is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so 11 times two, 22 pages of vacation. Um, so I will be back next time and I will probably wrap April, May, and June all up into one as soon as I finish those pages for a flip through. If you're interested in any of these 
um, process videos, a little bit more in-depth look at these pages. Um, they are all available in my 2019 album playlist, and I will see you next time. Thank you.